Hello and welcome. Let us now look at some of the syntax and structure related properties of text objects. We will be talking about part of speech tags and dependency grammars. Part of speech tags are the properties of word which defines their main context, their function and usage in a sentence. Some of the commonly used part of speech tags are nouns which defines any object or entities, verbs which define some action and adjectives or adverbs which act as the modifiers, quantifiers or intensifiers in any sentence. In a sentence, every word will be associated with a proper part of speech tag. For example, David has purchased a new laptop from Apple store. In this sentence, every word is associated with a part of speech tag which defines their functions. In this case, David has NNP tag which means it is a proper noun has and purchased belongs to verb indicating that they are the actions and laptop and apple store are the nouns new is the adjective whose role is to modify the context of laptop part of speech tags are defined by the relations of word with the other words in the sentence machine learning models or rule based models are applied to obtain the part of speech tags of a word the most commonly used part of speech tag notations are provided by the pen tree bank corpus in which a total of 48 post tags are defined according to their usage. Part of speech tags have large number of applications and they are used in variety of tasks such as text cleaning, feature engineering tasks and word sense disambiguation. For example, consider a sentence. Please book my flight for New York and consider an alternate sentence, I like to read a book on New York. In both the sentences, the keyword book is used, but in sentence one, it is used as a verb, while in sentence two, it is used as a noun. Now let's discuss about grammars. First type of grammar is the constituency grammar. Any word, group of word or phrases can be termed as constituents. And the goal of constituency grammar is to organize any sentence into its constituents using their properties. These properties are generally driven by their part of speech tags, noun or verb phrase identification. For example, a constituency grammar can be defined that any sentence can be organized into three constituents, a subject, a context and an object. These constituents can take different values and accordingly can generate different sentences. For example, the dogs are barking in the park. They are eating happily or the cats are running since morning. Another view to look at constituency grammar is to define their grammar in terms of their part of speech tags. Say a grammar structure containing a determiner, noun, adjective, verb, preposition, determiner, noun, which corresponds to the same sentence. The dogs are barking in the park. A different Type of grammar is the dependency grammar which states that words of a sentence are dependent upon other words of the sentence. For example, in the last sentence, barking dog was mentioned and dog was modified by barking as the dependency adjective modifier exists between the two. Dependency grammar organizes the words of a sentence according to their dependencies. One of the word in a sentence act as a root and all the other words are directly or indirectly linked to the root using their dependencies. These dependencies represent relationships among the words in a sentence. And dependency grammars are used to infer the structure and semantic dependencies between the words. Let's consider an example. Consider a sentence. Analytics Vidya is the largest community of data scientists and provides best resources for understanding data and analytics. The dependency tree of this sentence looks something like this. In this tree, the root word is community, having NN as the part of speech tag, and every other word of this tree is connected to root directly or indirectly with a dependency relation such as direct object, direct subject, modifiers, etc. These relationships define their roles and functions of each word in the sentence and how multiple words are connected together. Every dependency can be represented in the form of a triplet which contains a governor, a relation and a dependent. Which means that a dependent is connected to the governor by a relation or in other words they are subject, verb or object. 
For example, in the same sentence, Analytics Vidya is the largest community of data scientists. Analytics Vidya is the subject and is plays the role of a governor or the verb. Largest community of data scientists is the dependent or the object. Dependency grammars can be used in different use cases. For example, they are used to solve named entity recognition problems. They can be used to understand relational and structural aspects of question answering systems. They are also used in co-reference resolutions in which the task is to map the pronouns to the respective noun phrases. They can also be used for text summarization problems and they are also used as features for text classification problems. In the next video, we will be talking about syntax and structural properties related to text. Thank you. Thank you.